Last night, experts say the 4.0 magnitude quake hit just before midnight in the Lost Hills area. 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams shows us residents that remember that fatal quake in 1952 and how you can prepare for the next one. Established with the family, an earthquake readiness plan, uh, where to go in the house, where to go when you're outside, where to go when you're driving. It's important to always be ready for an earthquake because U.S. Geological Survey scientists say they have no way of predicting when the next big quake could happen in the future. Have a disaster kit prepared already. Uh, you want at least three days of canned foods, uh, a gallon of water per person per day for at least three days, so three gallons per person. Bakersfield natives remember the major earthquake of 1952 that killed 12 people and injured 18. Heard the noise uh, coming from the south, and we could actually see a wave uh, coming across the field. Tore down quite a few buildings, rippled up the streets. I remember they had to take the old train track out of it and move the watchtower. The original clock tower that was destroyed in the quake of 1952 was originally located right in the middle of this busy intersection of 17th Street and Chester Avenue, but was later rebuilt about a mile north of that location right in front of the Kern County Museum. I can remember the Bronx Department store being closed down and the big circus tent up on up in Westchester on F Street. Knocked me out of my bed. <laughs> but other than that, no, when we went through, then you could see uh, Tashby was pretty torn up and roads and everything. My mother, for one, who she was at school at the time, um, she remembers that distinctly. And uh, it, it was, you know, coming back to school finally after a certain time, should I say, and being able to uh, just regroup with her friends. Firefighters say minor quakes do happen often in Kern County. And if you feel one, make sure you drop, cover, and hold. In Bakersfield, Lindsay Adams, 23 ABC.